Hello YouTubers, it's Bill. Welcome to the Baltimore Museum of Art. It turns out that's the front of the building. The main entrance is actually this way. Take two. Uh, hello YouTubers, it's Bill, and this is the main entrance of the Baltimore Museum of Art. It's 90 degrees outside and feels like 120, so we're going to spend the day inside at the Baltimore Museum of Art, which I do believe is air-conditioned. I'll tell you all about it as we take a tour. Foyer, and they have, uh, there's an art shop here where you can buy things for sale that look like you went, to say I went to the Baltimore Museum of Art. The first thing you notice is this wonderful sculpture garden and then dining. So we'll be dining outside today. Gertrude's is the restaurant here and uh, it's a wonderful way to spend a brunch. There's lots of wonderful things. Crab cakes, of course, uh, also very popular. Um, the high tea room, the tea room club sandwich. A burger, excellent, and lots of ways to make your um, your day perfect. On the other side, brunch cocktails, mimosas and um, Bloody Marys, sirloin steak ranchero, Tillman Island eggs, or Tigman Island legs, it's a bit said that way. So that's a crab meat omelet, and this is uh, Tillman Island eggs, which is like Eggs Benedict, but with some oyster, uh, some fried oysters. The Museum of Art is free, and they do give you a guide map, and in fact, there are three levels. My recommendation is to start on the third level and work your way down. That way, you won't be crowded out by the people who never get to the third level. So it turns out the third floor is staff only, so here's where we came in down there. And uh, now we're on the second floor, and then we'll come down to the first. This is the Virgin and Child from Spain, and it's made of limestone with touches of paint. And I think I was watching something on television that said something about the white marble and limestone statues used to be painted. Oh, and here's a uh, great leaded glass. This is Venus and Adonis, and this is the presentation in the temple of it looks like a baby to be baptized. This is a writing table from Paris from 1785. And this is George IV, the son of George III, who was the King of England when America wrote the Declaration of Independence. And I believe he was either father or grandfather of uh, Queen Victoria. Mosaics here are found in an area called Antioch, up in here, then part of Syria, now part of Turkey, I believe. There are mosaics like this from Syria, which is now part of Turkey, and like this, telling stories of allegorical fishing. Here we have a party, someone playing tennis, someone brought a horse with wings, Here's the queen saying, where's my appetizer? And again, more tennis, only this time with a satyr. Out here is the Antioch court. And so I'm sure that on nicer days when the weather is uh, more uh, tepid or balmy, uh, this is a nice place to sit and stroll. This is the entrance to the Cohn collection by the two sisters, Clarabelle and Etta Cohn, who live in Baltimore and we're friends with uh, uh, Gertrude Stein. And there's quite a collection here of uh, the French masters. So we'll go see that. This is a Seurat painting. And you can see, oh, it's not. It's Signac. Never mind. Over here is the Seurat painting. And you can tell it's mosaic of little patterns, of little color swatches. This is by Henri Edmond Cross. He's French. This is the Cohn sisters with their friend Gertrude Stein in Fiesole in Italy. This is part of the collection called Matisse in Nice. And this is, you know, we recognize the coastline of Nice or Cannes where, where the film festivals are held. But over here, you see something. I look at this painting and sometimes I feel like Matisse is just, you know, phoning it in on this one. I, I don't know that there was enough work. But, you know, who am I? I'm no artist. I'm just the guy with a camera. In contrast, there's this Matisse 
painted four years later, and it's a lot of detail about an interior of a room. And that's, just, well, in my mind, that some work went into this. This is very definitely the contemporary art part, and you can see it's just very different than the paintings we've been looking at before. Very contemporary. All right, I'm not saying that I don't completely get it, but this is a painting. And I'm still trying to, still trying to follow the whole concept here. It's untitled though. This section about geometry and abstraction shows a mosaic and it's, you know, obviously quite a lot of thought and, and craftsmanship went into this, it seems to me. And it speaks about many things from the ancient pyramids, the night sky, to man's quest for the unknown.